It has been an honor to be here in Sacramento. It's been an honor to be able to serve Sacramento. And now to my exclusive conversation with outgoing Sac State President Dr. Robert Nelson, who is retiring after eight years. And this week he'll be named Champion of the Year by the Sacramento Black Chamber of Commerce. And that the Black Chamber would uh, give me this opportunity to say thank you to them is really something very special. So why is Dr. Nelson being honored by the Black Chamber? Take a look at the numbers. In his eight-year tenure, the overall four-year graduation rate at Sac State has increased 212 percent. The graduation rate for black students has increased 15.6 percent. And many of the students at that time, if they couldn't finish on time, they had to drop out because they couldn't afford to go on. Um, and so that was his goal. And he's done it. He's actually done it in the eight years that he's been here. I'm just so so proud of him. And when we started looking for our champion for the, of the year, it was a no-brainer. How did it happen? Dr. Nelson says they increased the number of classes offered, reworked classes with high failure and withdrawal rates, and improved student advising over the last eight years. It's been a remarkable achievement. The faculty have worked so hard to make sure that they met the students where the students are at, and the students have done the work to be able to graduate on time. We've saved our students millions, literally $60 million in the last couple of years in money that they would have spent if they had stayed around and gone for six years. Aziza Davis-Goins, president and CEO of Sacramento Black Chamber of Commerce, says it's fitting that the now sold out event honoring Dr. Nelson and other community leaders will help fund the Chamber's Youth Leadership Collaborative Program. It provides mentorship and entrepreneurship training for youth ages 16 to 23. Absolutely. It's a it's a pretty expensive in, endeavor because we've never charged our scholars for the program. And it runs probably, um, Chris, I'm going to say probably around $5,000 per scholar to get through this program. Um, we have, and that's not including the scholarships that they get if, in fact, they complete the program. Yes, even in his planned retirement, Dr. Nelson is continuing to help fuel positive results for youth throughout the community. Anything else you want to add, Dr. Nelson? I just got to make sure you include stingers up. Of course, right? And again, as you can see, Dr. Nelson and several others are being honored this Thursday by the Black Chamber. Not only am I on the board of directors for the Chamber, I'll be hosting the event on Thursday. Congrats to Dr. Nelson and all the honorees.